Hey guys, welcome back to another Saturday video, which means we have the most epic video of the week, okay? So today, we will be unboxing and reviewing the two new gigantic trackers, Elasmosaurus and the Bister Heversa right here, okay? As well as two Strike Attack, Gigan Spinosaurus and the Presto Sucres. We'll also open up some of this eggs right here. We'll take a look at the Dr. Alan Grant and Velociraptor Hammond Collection figure. Mosasaurus from Papal, we'll open some of these blind bags and plenty of other figures to take a look at. So let's get right into it. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys like a quick update of our Mosasaurus repaint as well. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we have lots of stuff to cover but I need your opinion guys. How should we display this Dr. Alan Grant and Velociraptor? Not too sure should we take them all out or display them in the box i want you guys to like comment down below okay all right let's begin the video let's go all right guys so the figure which i'm most excited about has got to be the elasmosaurus gigantic trackers elasmosaurus from the dino tracker series as you guys can see it basically has the same kind of packaging from the other dino trackers on um, gigantic trackers okay Alright, if you take a look at the back of the box, you will be able to find some illustrations and the instructions of um, you know, how to actually operate this. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box. I think many of you guys might be wondering, how did I actually get this figure like so early? So I basically got this from um, Hong Kong. Yeah, as a friend who is staying in Hong Kong, so I managed to get him to send it over to me. Uh, via um, BHL Express, which is kind of like fast. So yeah, which is much faster than uh, the usual international mail. So let me just try to get this one off. Okay, very nice figure, I would say. Let me just put on the tracking gear. Okay, I think this is gonna take some time. It might be a little bit difficult to tighten it, I guess. Alright guys, I've finished putting on the tracking gear onto the Elasmosaurus and let's have a look at this figure. Wow, this figure just looks absolutely amazing. The face actually reminds me of the Plesiosaurus right here, okay? Of course, they are closely related. So this is basically known as a thin plate lizard, um, it's a genus of a Plesiosaur. So let's have a look at the two buttons right here. So there are two buttons on the shoulders, one on the left, which moves the neck to the left hand side and the right button actually moves the neck up and down of course the jaw will also open as you press the button not too sure about the first one let's try this again yep so both buttons actually trigger the neck as well as the jaw the flippers can be rotated as you guys can see you can move them up and down as well the back flippers as well beautifully done you can see the detailing on this figure is just absolutely amazing the paint scheme is beautiful i love the size and i love the sculpt it looks just it looks very solid i would say i don't know how to describe this but it just looks absolutely amazing the paint scheme basically consists of um you know like this turquoise base color it has some dark turquoise patterns and some lighter shade of um should i say like white on top of it looks pretty cool it will be nice if there are some detailing right here but you know you guys know that you know the toe claws of the dinosaurs unpainted so similarly you don't expect much you know pain application to um the fine detailings the tail doesn't seem to be able to rotate and this one seems to be slightly off let me try to see if um, i'm able to push it right in yeah, it doesn't seem to be fitted nicely, but overall, I think this is like one of the best releases so far this year. Absolutely amazing. The eyes are beautifully painted as well. The interior is nicely detailed. You can see a glossy shine on the tongue to give it a wet look. Very, very beautiful figure. Of course, we can actually scan this, but I'm not too sure whether we are able to scan it because some of the new figures are not in the facts app yet. So let's try this together. Okay guys, so let's try to scan this. Nope, it doesn't work no matter how clear it is. It just doesn't register in the, on the app. I've tried to update the app, but you know, it doesn't work as well. So I guess we have to wait for the next update for this to work. So overall, I would say that this is a fantastic figure. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. So now let's take a look at the Bister Heversir. Okay, now it's time for us to take a look at the Bistar Heversaw. 
Gigan. Why do I say Gigan? Gigantic trackers. <laughs> Dino trackers. Okay, so let's get this out of the box. Before that, let's take a look at the back of the box. You know, it looks really beautiful right here. Um, the face, I'm not too sure because a lot of you guys actually mentioned that this pose is actually the right pose. So I find this pose kind of weird. It looks like the pose of, um, you know, this one right here, which is the Presto Suki. It's kind of like bent in the neck area. But a lot of you guys actually mentioned that this pose is actually quite a common pose. So yeah, I think we can make do with this pose. So let's get this out of the box. Hopefully the legs are not tight to the bottom of the box, which is one you know, which I'm always feel very annoyed about. So, yep, it's not, which is cool. Let's get this. Oh, we still have to get um, the tracking gear out of the box as well. So let's try our best. Oh my goodness, I need some time. Okay, so this is like the tracking gear. I'm not too sure tra if tracking gear is the right way to describe it, but you know, let's just try to put this one on. Uh, let's try this. Okay, it looks a little bit goofy with um, the gear on because it looks kind of loose, but I think it's fine. Okay, let's have a look at this. Yeah, it definitely looks better in person. So let's have a look at this. Wow, looks kind of cool. The only thing that I wish could be better is that, you know, if they paint the toe cloth, it wouldn't look so incomplete. It just looks a little bit incomplete. But you can see the paint scheme is pretty cool. It has like, you know, one, two, three. Four, four types of colors, which is kind of cool um, because usually you only get like two or three types at most. So let's have a look at the two buttons. So one button on the left basically moves the neck and the jaw up and down, which is cool. Okay, basically says yes, yes, give me more food. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of goofy. I, I'm not not sure why, but yeah, still still a cool figure. Okay, this one is nice. The other button actually moves the neural spine bones towards each other. This is something new. We have never seen this before. So this is a new feature. Absolutely new feature. We have never seen this before. So this is a very nice refreshing idea, I would say. Okay, let's have a look at the face sculpt. So in case that you guys do not know, Beaster Hiverser is actually a U-Tyrannosaur, which is also closely related to a Tyrannosaur. It is basically known as a Beaster He destroyer or bister he beast pretty cool name i would say but not as cool as the morus intrepidus which is known as the harbinger of doom all right let's have a look at this again very nice i love the detailing done on the lower jaw it makes it looks very much like a crocodile you know very crocodilian looking kind of um detailing done right here the tongue it's beautifully detailed as well you can see a bit of gloss and shine very nice um Two fingers similarly, I mean similar to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, you can move the arms up and down. Very nice pebbling done right here I'd say, but too bad there isn't much detailing done in terms of the coloration. Yep, very cool figure, you're able to rotate the feet for sure. The tail can't be rotated as what you can find from uh, you know some of the previous carnivores. But I really like this fact that you know the neural spine bones can close. This is really nice. I don't think you guys will be able to scan this anyway, but you know we can try this and try once more, but I don't think it will work. Seems like all the new figures are not registered in the facts app yet, even though I have done the update, so it doesn't work. Yeah. Alright, so we have basically the two new Gigantic Trackers, Dino Trackers, Elasmosaurus, and the Bister Heversaur. This one is definitely my most favorite. I'm planning to get one or two more for sure. You know, we can actually do like a repaint or display it in this box. Absolutely amazing stuff. Love this figure so much. All right, let's move on to other items right now. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this beautiful setup. Let's begin the video by unboxing and reviewing the new Gigan Spinosaurus Strike Attack Combat Extreme. In this new series, it actually comes with four figures, okay? We have the green Atrociraptor right here, Dilophosaurus, and Prestosuchus. We have ordered these two figures and they should arrive in a couple of days' time, okay? So let's unbox this. Just in case that you guys do not know, Gigan Spinosaurus, it's a Stegosaurus, 
and the name actually means the giant spined lizard. It is quite similar. I mean, the name is actually quite similar to Spinosaurus, but of course, it is totally unrelated to a Spinosaurus. Let's check this out. Wow, it looks pretty cool. Okay, you're able to move the tail, and you can see the neck actually moves slightly, just very slightly. It doesn't really move that much. Maybe you should move the head to move the tail instead instead of the other way around. As you guys can see, the tail is basically like the weapon. All right, of course, it comes with the scan code for you guys to scan in your effects app. We shall scan this slightly later, okay? So very cool. It comes with movable limbs. Of course, you are able to move the legs like up and down for the front legs. It's beautiful. In terms of detailing, you can say it's pretty well detailed, but in terms of coloration, it looks kind of bland to me. It will be nice if they actually incorporate one more color. I think that will be super awesome. Okay, next up, before we scan the Gigan Spinosaurus, let's open one of these mini blind bags. We have actually obtained quite a number of the figures, but we are still lacking Parasaurolophus, Ankylosaurus, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But we do have the, you know, the rare and the limited edition Tyrannosaurus Rex, to be honest. So let's open this. Hopefully, we are able to get it. Alright, let's have a look. We have a green T-Rex, which is cool. We already have this, but it's not bad. Maybe there isn't like a brown T-Rex, who knows? All right, just a quick comparison with other Stegosaurus right here, okay? Firstly, I've actually brought a Collecte Giganospinosaurus right here, okay? So just to do a quick comparison, Giganospinosaurus was a Stegosaurus found in the Jurassic period in China, okay? And here we have a Miragaya right here, which is also a Stegosaurus and a Chilingosaurus, okay? We will take a look at more Stegosaurus later on, okay? So now let's move on to the Prestosuchus. Alright guys, so now let's take a look at the latest Strike Attack Prestosuchus right here, okay? It's looking very, very beautiful, I would say. And this is considered a new species added to the entire Jurassic World line, okay? So Prestosuchus is basically known as a Prestis crocodile. It is an extinct genus of what is known as a Pseudosuchian. All right, very cool. It is closely related to a Postosuchus right here, okay? So let's check this out. So it comes with this button right here on the top. And once you press it, the mouth will be open. And you can see plenty of nice detailing done on the interior of the mouth. The teeth are nicely crafted as well. Beautiful detailing on all four limbs. The tail can be rotated. And of course, the two front legs, you can move them up and down. But I don't think you need that. And you can find this really nice Jurassic World logo on the underneath, okay? Very cool figure, I would say. All right. Um, I've actually tried to scan both the Prestosuchus and the Giganospinosaurus, but they don't work. I think we have to wait for a new update, okay? Just a very quick comparison of another depiction of a Prestosuchus. So this is basically a Prestosuchus from Safari LTD, which looks a bit more realistic, I would say. Very nice figure. Okay, time for us to open up one of these eggs right here in the hope to find the Amber Velociraptor. Let's get this out of the pack. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I'm trying hard not to pick. Okay, let's pour the, the contents out. Oh my goodness, we've got... This is a Wave 1. Oh my goodness, I thought I have purchased all the Wave 2 figures. Okay, but I think it's fine. Let's just pop in the, you know, the head. We haven't seen this figure for quite some time, so it's okay. So this is basically, you know, the Triceratops from the 30th Anniversary Jurassic Park series, okay? Triceratops family time. You can see a baby Triceratops right here and another Triceratops right at the back. Beautiful little figure. Right, next, let's open this. I think for this figure, I think I am going to, you know, display it out of the box. What do you guys think? I want you guys to like comment down below. Or should we just display it like this? You know, with this cover right here. Like, that. I'm not too sure. I, I want you guys to give me some suggestions. But of course, this box looks very, very beautiful as well. So let's get... We definitely need to get the Raptor out. Perhaps, I feel maybe we can have like two sets. Hopefully, we can get another set. And uh, one to display out of the box and the other one to display in the box. What do you guys think? Let me know down below, okay? Let's get 
the Raptor out. Right, let's assemble this. Let's pop in the tail. How do we do this? Which way is the right way? I think any way is fine. You're able to rotate the tail, so that is totally awesome. Wow, so this is basically, I think, which is the male raptor. I think so. Yeah, I think this is one of the male raptors, if I'm not wrong. I'm not exactly sure, but I think so. Beautiful. Okay, let's do a very quick comparison. Okay, sorry. This was the male raptor, so this may not be the male one. And uh, we do have another one, so you can see the size comparison. They are almost identical. But I definitely like this one a lot as well. I'm gonna do a very quick comparison with the um, Legacy Collection um, White Raptor as well, so you can see they are very, very similar. Beautiful figure. Let me just place this one right here. Absolutely amazing. And Dr. Alan Grant is beautiful as well. It is actually very, very different from uh, the previous Alan Grant. So let me just quickly show you guys like the comparison. So this is basically Alan Grant in a different um, outfit. He's actually wearing shades of cops. You can actually swap um, the face. And this one is basically in a checkered shirt, which is very nice as well. Okay, so it actually comes with a backpack. So let's place all the items in. I think we are able to put the two eggs inside, which is awesome, guys. Check this out. Wow, very cool. Are you able to put the, the arms inside? You know, I really like dislike having to um, like, you know, store the arms. So hopefully we are able to keep the arms inside this bag as well. <laughs> like this, how about that? <laughs> That's really funny. But I think it's okay. Let me just remove the arms. Okay, so you can actually make him wear this sling bag, I suppose. Just put it through um, the arms like that. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice, I would say. And what is this? Oh, backpack! We also need to let him wear the backpack as well. Okay guys, check this out. So this is basically, you know, I'm trying to follow as closely as possible to the picture right here. It's basically from Jurassic Park 3. Okay, and check this out. So this is Dr. Alan Grant with the backpack. And of course, the sling bag that contains the two eggs. And here is the white Velociraptor. It looks absolutely amazing. And it also comes with some facts right here, okay? The facts, you know, when he was actually surrounded by the Velociraptor pack, Dr. Alan Grant decides the pack's behavior and helps return the stolen eggs in order to escape a treacherous situation. Very, very awesome. Yeah, so this is basically the new Hammond collection figure that has been added to our collection. Absolutely delighted over this. Okay, next up, let's open three more of this. Hopefully, you are able to find the missing figures. Nope, Pteranodon again. Not a huge fan of this figure. Let's open this up right here. Another Pteranodon. Oh my goodness. Let's open up another one. Yeah, it's another Pteranodon. Let's open one more pack. Hopefully, it's not a Pteranodon anymore. Oh, it's a T Rex, but no, sorry, it's a Baryonyx, but we already have this Baryonyx. So let's open more and more. Hopefully, we're able to find it finally. Nope, green Pteranodon. Oh my goodness, we are going to open all of them right now. What is this? Baryonyx again. Oh dear. And what about this? Pteranodon. Last one. And not a Pteranodon. Oh my goodness. It's okay. Let's move on. Alright, next up. Last week, we actually added the two new 93 Classics, you know, figures to our collection, which is a new Dilophosaurus. Have you guys seen this already? Let me just remove the mask to show you guys again. It is a really beautiful Dilophosaurus. It is actually a new sculpt because this one, this Dilophosaurus right here, doesn't have the frill open up, okay? You can actually see the frill still sticking to its neck right here. And it also comes with a lot of like, you know, restraint um, gear right here, capture gear, I would say. Um, let's try to put this one back right now. It's not easy. Just slot it back in like this. Yep, there we go. So this is a new Dilophosaurus. And this is the, um, the galley mimers that we have been waiting for as well, okay? We are still waiting for the Scootosaurus. Yeah, hopefully it will arrive next week, hopefully. So this is basically, you know, the 93 Classics Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think many of you guys have seen this before, but you know, this is, to me, this is like the best ever Tyrannosaurus Rex figure ever produced 
so far. I'm not too sure. One of the best, you know, perhaps it is among the best. Hammond Collection has to be the best, probably. I'm not too sure. I want you guys to comment down below. Okay, next up. On Thursday, I think we have just opened and added this to our collection, which is a new 12-inch figure Pro Ceratosaurus. There are actually two more in the past. One and two. I think this was the first release and later on they actually released a red version or rather like a maroon colored version. So we have three Pro Ceratosaurus 12 inch figure right now. Okay, so now let's open up another one. All right, let's pull the contents out. Hopefully we have the Velociraptor. Let's try this. Nope, it's not. We basically have the Compi. Yes, I think the Compi is also quite rare, which is a nice figure. And this is actually a new addition, you know, to the captive collection. Check this out. So Compi is basically um the short form or rather the nickname for Comsonaders right here, okay? Only three for the killer rating and an intelligence of one. Very, very small little dinosaur, I'd say. Comsonaders Carnage right here. Beautiful illustration right here next let's have a look at this mosasaurus i know that this is not a jurassic world figure you know not a jurassic world action figure but you guys should know that i'm a huge fan of papo figures and this is actually a new release so let me just remove the tag i like to display it um without the tag you know we are actually running out of space in the marine reptiles collection which is right here guys you know you guys should know that i display all my marine reptiles in this little section in the basement the dino dungeon shelf we also have a shelf that display our papo figures at level 3 colossus so there's a possibility that i would display this at level 3 instead of um basement wow check this out so this is basically the latest mosasaurus from papo or should I say the first Mosasaurus from Papo? You can see it is like absolutely beautiful, very well detailed. You can see like little spots right here, which could be like barnacles. I'm not too sure, but absolutely amazing stuff. I love the paddles, how they have actually like, you know, included some details of, you know, finger, finger looking kind of like structures. And of course, it comes with a movable jaw, beautiful detailing done. The tongue, the interior of the jaw is very nicely detailed, absolutely beautiful. Love this figure a lot. Okay, this is the prehistoric marine reptile from Papo, uh, Tylosaurus right here, which also looks fantastic, but I think the Mosasaurus is the best one so far, for sure. All right, guys, besides these two figures, we have actually added a couple of new figures in the past few days, okay? We have the Danger Pack Shin Hwanosaurus right here, which looks absolutely amazing. You know, these figures, they are actually inside the Fax app, but not these two, which is kind of weird. And we also have Pietnitsky Saurus right here, which is also another one from the Danger Pack. And of course, the two pan dactylus right over here, which is also from the danger pack. So in total, we have five new figures right here. We are still waiting for the green Atrociraptor and the Dilophosaurus. So we should have the complete set once those two arrive. Okay, guys, as promised, I'm going to show you guys all our Hammond collection figures, okay? Let's begin with the Velociraptor right here. So this is basically the female raptor. And this is the male raptor right here, which could be found in Jurassic Park 3 as well. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this, which is probably one of the um, um, earlier, earlier um, releases. Baryonyx right here, the Lophosaurus. And two more, Parasaurolophus and the Triceratops. We shall take a break from Hammond Collection and let's take a look at more Spinosaurids Collection. Sorry guys, not Spinosaurids. Stegosaurids, okay? So I've shown you guys like uh, the Chilingosaurus right here and uh, Miragayer. And of course, we have the Cantrosaurus from the Camp Cretaceous. Cantrosaurus, if I'm not wrong, is known as the Pointed Lizard. It looks very similar to a Stegosaurus, but you guys can see there are like plates on top of his body, but spikes on both sides at the same time, which is super, super awesome. Stegosaurus is probably the most common Stegosaurid that you guys know, and I've actually brought the very first figure right here, guys. This is basically the action attack Stegosaurus. 
we still have this in this box you know I, I really treasure it it's actually right at the top right over there you know we do have one you know still in this box so so far i think in the entire mattel line we have one two three four and five different stegosaurids in the our entire jurassic world line okay all right guys next are our news update a quick update what i've brought here are basically some of the latest mattel minis right here not captive collection kentrosaurus oranosaurus concavenator and sinoceratops just to let you guys know there will be a new wave coming out really soon that will include some species which one of them is actually known as a tritops i have no idea absolutely no idea about this species until someone told me about that very cool Okay, next up, let me introduce to you guys some Peppo figures because just now we have actually opened the Mosasaurus, so you know we do have a Crylophosaurus right here, okay, which is known as a Cold Crested Lizard. This is a Ceratosaurus, you know, you guys should be quite familiar with a Ceratosaurus, okay, and this is the Acrocanosaurus, okay, very beautiful. I love Peppo because they are actually very realistic looking. So let's move on to other figures. Okay, Prestosuchus was not a dinosaur, it was basically a prehistoric animal. So I've brought some of the prehistoric animals to show you guys as well, okay? They are not dinosaurs, so let's have a look at them together. So we have a Postosuchus, which is closely related to a Prestosuchus right here. We also have a Shringosaurus, I have no idea what kind of um, species it actually belongs to, but you know, it's definitely not a dinosaur. And of course, we have a Nophthosaurus right here, which is like a half, you know, prehistoric um, land and marine reptile. We also have a Plesiosaurus right here, which is also part of, um, you know, the prehistoric uh, animals. Okay, maybe we should actually go with the Elasmosaurus later on. It's fine, let me just remove this. Okay, do we have more? Yes, we actually have one more right here, which is the Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon is a prehistoric sinusoid. We also have a Scutosaurus. I'm still waiting for the JP93 Scutosaurus to arrive. We also have one more right here, with, which is the Adiphosaurus, which is another prehistoric animal. Last but not least, we have a Lytrosaurus, okay, which is a prehistoric, cute, cute prehistoric animal. Yeah, very cute. Yeah, very cute. And you can see there's like two teeth. Yes, because I have no idea what kind of species it actually belongs to. You guys can research and let me know down below. Next up, let's continue with our Hammond collection figures, Concavenator right here, which is also relatively new. Gally Mimers, um, Wave 2, I would suppose. Pachycephalosaurus is also from Wave 2. And Joe Sternberg here, which is also one of our latest addition. So there are actually Matriocantosaurus coming out really soon, Irritator, and one more, which is the Corythosaurus. So I'm waiting for the three to arrive so that we can actually add them to our collection, which is which will be awesome. Okay, next up, let's have a look at our marine reptiles collection. We have the Elasmosaurus right here, Lyoplurudon. Plesiosaurus, which is closely related to the Elasmosaurus. We also have the Tronosaurus, which is another really, really noisy figure, I would say. <laughs> okay. And of course, we do have another one, which is right here. Okay, I brought the Tanistrophius. Where's our Tanistrophius? It's right here. But I wouldn't say Tanistrophius is a prehistoric marine reptile, is or is it? I think it is. It can also live on the land, so it is not considered a you know a full prehistoric marine reptile, I suppose. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you guys our micro collection. I think many of you guys have not seen our latest additions. So this is actually a Flarizinosaurus, which is a new addition. You know, we got this recently. Um, Pyroraptor, which is a new one as well. This one I think is a new one. Not too sure. We definitely have blue, which is um the older one. Triceratops, oops, oh my goodness, it's on the floor right now. Um, and Kalosaurus. Gigar is also a new one, a new addition. So there was actually a new wave. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is actually from the very, very first wave. Same goes with the Dimetrodon. Indominus Rex was from the first wave as well. Velociraptor Blue. Carnotaurus was, was from the first wave as well. Stegosaurus as well. And um, Ankylosaurus as well. Right, next up. I've actually brought a few more Peppo figures to show you guys, okay? One, two, 
3 and 4, okay? So this is actually an OV Raptor, a later release, which is like a repaint, a new paint scheme, which looks absolutely incredible. We have a Starachosaurus, which more or less is the same figure, but just with a new splash of paint added to it. And this one is a Protoceratops, and uh, this is a Gorgosaurus, which was a relatively new figure. I'm not too sure why I'm like having difficulty speaking today, not as fluent as you know usually because probably because I'm quite tired. I didn't have enough sleep last night, so I beg your pardon if you guys feel that you know I'm sort of like uh, mumbling to myself sometimes in this video, okay? You know, beg your pardon. All right, next up, okay, next up, let's finish off with our Hammond collection human figures. As you guys can see, I don't like to take up you know the human figures because there are so many different accessories i mean if i were to take them all out how am i going to display this additional hit it will be very troublesome so right here we have robert Muldoon, dr ian malcolm we also have dr alan grant right here so i really like this alan grant um, i'm actually thinking of getting another another set to have it display probably and put it right there on um, the basement human kingdom shelf Maybe there's a possibility. And of course, we have Dr. Ali Settler right here. Okay. Okay, so this figure right here, along with the Shinhuanosaurus and the Pietnitsky Saurus, are basically like the new carnivores that we will be adding to our medium sized um, carnivorous shelf. Okay. So basically, that shelf contains other new figures from the latest 2023. We have the Sealer Roos right here. We have the Herrerasaurus. I'm gonna show you guys like a very quick update, okay? Australaptor is also a new one. Elephosaurus, not to be confused with Edifosaurus right here. Elephosaurus. Morus Intrepidus, this one was the very first one. Okay, this was the second repaint, second version, I would say. Genuine deck series, you guys should know that I've told you guys like a joke. When I was actually searching for Genuine deck series on Amazon and other online store, they actually show me results of facial cream, cosmetic stuff because the word series is basically like related to cosmetics, I would say. So I had a difficulty, you know, had a hard time trying to find Genuine deck series, you know, to, to, to purchase. Yep. Two last figures is basically this. We have the Tanius Trophies and the Rugops Primus right here, okay? Right. And of course, we have another Plesiosaurus, which I've, oh, you know, I've, we have forgotten to show it just now when we are talking about the prehistoric marine reptiles. Okay, last but not least, I've actually brought a small little Beastar Heaver Saw right here to show you guys, okay? This is basically, um, um, you know, a figure from. Sorry, this is a Shong Kwan Long. I've got the wrong one. Where's our Bista Hibasaw? Oh my goodness. This is the Bista Hibasaw, guys. Okay, you can see the paint scheme is actually quite similar to, you know, the one from Mattel. You know, red and black and brown. Very cool figure. Beautiful figure. Yep. Alright, guys. Okay, you can see this is basically the uh, aftermath of, um, you know, the video. You can see plenty of stuff on the floor so i'm gonna spend the next hour trying to clean everything up just to let you guys know when we were actually recording this video we didn't receive these two figures so, so i was recording halfway and these two figures arrived like you know like half an hour ago and i was like i definitely need to include them in my video which is why you know you could see like there's a bit of like jump here and there some of the figures were already open some of the figures were not but it's okay, you know, I feel that these two figures would definitely be the ones that you guys will want to watch more Which is why the video is slightly a bit confusing in terms of the um, uh, sequence But I think overall, yeah, you, you guys, you know, are, it was in for a treat We basically unboxed so many figures in one video I was actually thinking of opening only the Bister Haversaw and the Elasmosaurus in the video of its own But, you know, they came late and we definitely have to include them which is why we open so many figures together you know two two large figures two uh, i mean this pressure sucres and uh, the gigan spinosaurus so four figures and including the hammond collection you know figure 
which I don't intend to have them all in one video, but it's fine, it's fine. This is a Saturday video, it's a bonus video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Thanks for watching this. <sighs> Goodbye. Yeah, it's really tiring. This is a long video. I took a lot of time, and this is basically the mess. Um, other updates for you guys is basically that um, I will try to finish the repaint of the Mosasaurus by tomorrow, which is Sunday, so that on Tuesday you may get a glimpse of it, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, on Tuesday we can probably do a Mosasaurus collection along with all our prehistoric marine reptiles collection. I can probably show you guys like the non metal figures, that will be super cool as well, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Um, check out our Instagram and our TikTok as well, okay? And of course, you can you can uh, actually request for um, a personalized video for, for yourself. Link in our description, not description, in our about us tab, okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.